So welcome back guys in this class I'm going to tell you that how we can install PyCharm editor which is a Python code editor for free on Windows so for that first of all you have to open any browser as I have opened the Chrome browser and after that you have to type here PyCharm uh, and you will see the search result which is PyCharm download so click on the PyCharm download so you can download this from official link and the official link is www.jetbrains.com so this is the product of jetbrains company so now let's click on this download pycharm and so this is the web page of this website okay so download pycharm and here you have given the three options you can download it for windows you can download it for Mac operating system or Linux. So as you can see here, so it is available for three operating system, Windows, Mac and Linux. So you can see here there are two options, professional and community version. So professional uh, version is paid version and it is available for free for 30 days trial. And the community version is free and because it is an open source, so you can use a uh, community version free for lifetime, but you cannot use the professional version for free. It is just free for 30 days and it's a trial period. So what is the difference between the community and the professional version? So in professional, uh, for both scientists and web Python development with HTML, JS and SQL support. So if you are a professional developers or web developers, so you can go for professional version and you have to pay for this. But if you are a simple Python programmer, like the community version is only for pure Python development. So if you are a Python developer or Python programmer, so I'll recommend you to go for this community version. So right now I'm clicking on this. I am on Windows. So let's download this. Thank you for downloading the PyCharm and and here they are giving us the link to download so, so this is the latest version so let's download it Okay guys, so our PyCharm is finally downloaded. So now let's open it. So it is finally started. So this is the PyCharm Community Edition setup. So welcome to PyCharm Community Edition setup. So now let's click on next. And select the PyCharm Community Edition version that you want to uninstall because I already have this version. As you can see here, this is a little bit older version. So now I am just clicking on it and I just want to uninstall. Uninstall silently settings and configuration from old version will not be deleted. So I just want to check this because I don't want to do this manually again and again. So let's click on next. So it will first uninstall the older version and then let us to install the new version. So it will take a little bit time as you can see it has uninstalled it very successfully. Okay guys, so this is the destination folder and it is going to locate in the program files. So if you want to change the location, so just click on browse and select your desired location. So right now I'm going with the default location. So let's click on next and here you have to check few options. So I just want to create the desktop shortcut. I am checking this update the path variable restart needed. Okay, I am also checking this and update the context menu open folder as a project create the okay so i am just also checking this so now click on next and okay so click on install so it will take few minutes to install the complete software and then i'll show you that how we can use the pycharm editor for programming okay guys so our pycharm is successfully installed now so here they are giving us two option reboot now and i want to manually reboot later so now let's click on finish and i don't want to restart my computer right now because i am installing in front of you so i'm just clicking on finish so you can see here our pycharm community edition is successfully installed now let's click on this and open it okay so this is the pycharm editor and now it is 
starting and loading so it is just reopening my previous file which is rock paper scissor game and so as you can see here this is the coding so let's maximize it okay so if you want to create a new project just click on the file and then click on new project right so here here you have to type the name of your project and make sure the project name should not have spaces in between them so i am typing here first project so there should be no spaces otherwise it can create a little bit error while fetching the program and just keep the things as it is and let's create and it will ask you whether you want to create this open this project in this window or in a new window so i am clicking on new window so it is loading my first project and now creating the virtual environment okay guys our project is finally created and this is the space where we can code so this is the sample python script and as you can see here so we are not discussing right now what is python scripts and how we can code in python right now we are discussing about pycharm so let's discuss some of the important features of python so actually we can run every code by using this button or we can using by clicking on this run we can run the program or by clicking on this button we can run the program right so let's run it and as you can see here we are getting the output hi pycharm so now let's minimize it okay so if you want to create more than one file in python in a single python project so how you can do this you have to click on the name of your project and right click on that project and then click on new so here you are getting the different options for creating the new file so a simple text file or a directory or python package or you can also create an html file and resource bundle editor config file so right now we are working on python so i am just clicking on python file and then they'll ask you to write the name of your python file i'm giving any name like uh hello hello is the name of my file so you can see here an empty python file has been successfully created and it is also appearing over here so this is the file which i have created now and this is the default file so which is already created by the project so this is how we can create the different files and you can create as many files as you want and now let's come here at the bottom uh, so you first you have the run area so if you want to click on run and see the output so just click on this run if you want to see some problems you can click here and this is the current file and the project errors because there is no project error and there is no code so that's why it is empty now click on the terminal and this is the terminal and here we can also install some of the libraries and modules by using the pip like pip install and then library name like pillow or anything right if you move on then we have another option which is python packages so in here you can install the python packages let me show you here okay so these are the some of the installed packages which is setup tools pip and wheel so if we want to do something if we want to create any projects and we want some module for that so here we can easily install that modules and libraries and if we want to create a translator so i need a module which is called as translate so i am just searching here and you can see here there are different options of translate libraries there is google cloud translate and simple translate or a translator translate x etc etc so i just want to click on this translate click on this right and here you will find the option install so click on this button and it is installing my package and you can also see here progress bar like installing package translate it will take few seconds according to the speed of your internet connection and then it will install it successfully okay now let's move on let's minimize it it is installing in the background okay so now let's move on see here the python console it is the python console and here is because uh windows security alert and i have to allow the access so 
being an admin i have to allow certain assesses it is similar to the python shell here we can also code but the problem is like we can code as a single line script and python console so in python console we cannot write a long script so we can just write a single line command so like print and then sorry hello world so as we press enter for the new line so it will not show us the new line in fact it will give us the results which is hello world right so discovering binary modules so all the processes are running in backgrounds so now let's go here and check some settings so let's click on file and then you can like you can open your file from there you can save the file by clicking on this you can open recent files so all these are my recent files you can close the project and you can rename your project and this is the setting so let's open the setting okay so this is the setting area so first option you can get here is appearances and behavior so this is the theme intellige theme and here you can get the different themes like high contrast dracula windows light and and intellige so right now i'm using the intellige and i can you know click on the high contrast and then click on ok and you have easily changed your theme of the code editor now let's go back to the setting and you can again change your theme to windows light and here here we go and this is the option for font you can change your font style and you can also increase and decrease the size of your font like i'm changing it to 20 and then there are other options so let's move on and i want to show you something which is project so this is very important thing which is python interpreter so right now my interpreter is python 3.10 so interpreter means that the python file that you are using currently so you can change your interpreter or add a new interpreter by clicking on add interpreter and add a local interpreter right so let's click on this and the folder where you have installed your latest version of python you can click on this and then you can add a new interpreter so right now i'm not changing my interpreter let's go back and these are some packages which i have already installed while i was working on the different projects there is an other method where you can also install packages and which is Py python interpreter just first click on python for project and then python interpreter and after that you will get this window and display and then click on this plus icon and after that this window and display will appear so you can type the name of your library or module you want to download just type here pillow pillow is a library that is very helpful so right now i just want to install this so let's click on this and then click on install package so as you can see here it is showing us installing package and this is the description of the package pillow wrapper for pil compatibility and this is the author yin peng and this is the official gmail of the uh, author and this is the official website of this library so here you can also specify the version you want to download and here you can see here the package below is installed successfully so you can install as many packages and libraries as you want so let's go back and this is very simple to install different libraries modules and packages on your computer by using pycharm editor and this is the view area so tool windows appearances so here you can you know get the different tools on your display and this is the run option you can run the file you can debug the file and so this is vcs means that version control integration and you can also you know create and share your project directly from pycharm to the github like create a git repository over here and you can also share your project on github directly from the pycharm 
and there are different options and features in PyCharm. So you cannot cover this in a single lecture. So I have tried to explain as many things as I can. And I think that was enough for today. So see you in the next lecture.